Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install Scala ID for Eclipse. For that, first we will download and install Eclipse, then we will set the Scala ID. Let's start with the download and installation of the current Eclipse version. We will learn how to install Eclipse current version that is Eclipse 2023-03 on Windows. For that, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google type Eclipse and uh, press enter. Open the official website. Open the official website Eclipse.org. Now click download. Now we will reach the downloads folder. Here it is. Here you can see the current version is visible. And it's written that you don't need to install Java separately to install this. It comes pre installed now. No problem. Click on download x86 underscore 64 means means for 64 bit ways here is the exe file you can click download here now the download should start it started 122 mb let's wait guys you have downloaded it double click on it to install minimize The different Eclipse ID versions are now visible for Java this, for C, C++, for PHP here. I'll go for Eclipse ID for Java developers, click on it. On clicking now you can see it automatically took the Java version because it comes pre-installed. The installation folder is the following, you can change it if you want, but I'll keep the same. It will also create a start menu and a desktop shortcut. Click install. Installing, let's wait. Guys, we have installed it. It also it created a desktop shortcut. Directly click on launch. Now it is asking to select a workspace. So workspace is a place where in all your project files, folders and plugins gets saved. So you can select any location for it. But I'll keep this. Let's say I'll name it Amit. Amit Eclipse workspace which is fine you can set it as default so that you don't need to set so that you don't need to set the workspace again and again click launch this will launch Eclipse for the first time Eclipse started for the first time now let us quickly create our first project I'll go to file I'll go to file click new Click uh, Java project. Project name, add any name. It will get saved under our workspace. If you remember, this was our workspace and this is our project. Execution environment, keep it as it is. This was given by our own, uh, this was provided by our own Eclipse only. Rest keep as it is and click next. Finish. Project now our project is ready. Here it is. You can now you can now right click new class name the class. Let's say Amit package. Let's say com dot studiopedia. Rest I'll just select publish static environment. Click finish. Now we created an Amit file. I'll just print something quickly using system dot. out dot print so I printed this file save all forgot the semicolon file save all again now right click click run as 
Java application and this will run successfully. So guys in this video we saw how we can install the how we can install the current Eclipse version we also created our first Java project on Eclipse. Thank you for watching the video. So guys we successfully installed Eclipse ID current version. Let us open it again go to start type Eclipse type Eclipse and click on open to open it. Now go to help here and click on install new software. Now click add here and type Scala ID. Add this following location. We will also mention this link in the description. Now click OK. Add. Now it will fetch. Now here it is visible. Click on Scala Scala ID for Eclipse. After that, click Next. Now the installation will start. Here it is visible. Click Next. Accept the terms. Click Finish. Now it is installing, you can see here. Now installation completed, click restart now to restart the Eclipse ID. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily install Scala ID for Eclipse. Thank you for watching the video.